Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. What a glorious morning we have today. I pray you are all doing wonderfully well today, that your spirits are lifted because he is risen. Today is the day that symbolises he's rising from the grave. Today is the day we can say, as he said on the cross, it is finished. He has done all that was required. He has gone from earth. He has taken back his life from death. He has taken every one of our sins from us and cleansed us in his blood. His blood dripped from the cross down into the crack in the ground straight on to the Ark of the Covenant, which was housed under the cross. I don't know how many of you realised that, but I think it was Jeremiah, one of the prophets of old, when Babylon was coming to take hold of the temple and Jerusalem and take them off into captivity. When that was happening, one of the prophets of the day hid the Ark of the Covenant. The main parts of the temple were hidden in his cave. I can't remember, was it called the, it might have been Jeremiah's cave. I, I, the name of it escapes me. I'm terrible with names. Isn't that shocking? But he hid it. And so, yes, they took off all of the booty and the treasure and, and all of that sort of thing they did. But they didn't get that because he was forewarned and he hid it in a cave and the cave was covered over. Ron Wyatt, look him up, Ron Wyatt was led to that cave by God and he found it there. It is true, God's word is true. He led Ron Wyatt to the place and no one has been able to access it since. The Jews tried to, but they died. They were not anointed of God to do it. They tried to go in and they needed Ron White to get the bodies out because they couldn't go past a certain point to bring that they wanted to get to it. So what they're doing now, I don't know, making a false one. I don't know what they're up to now. But the true one, he found it under, directly under the spot where where the, um, the stake went down to hold Jesus. And there was a crack through the ground, just as the Bible says, there was a crack through the ground. And he found on that top of the Ark of the Covenant, right where it should be, blood. He took it to be analysed, and it was living blood, it, which is impossible. Dry blood is not living, but when they put water to it, reconstituted, it was living. They found out it was Jesus' blood. It was unlike any other human blood. It had only half the chromosomes. It was not possible. It was the blood of Jesus Christ on the mercy seat. And he covered us on that day. It is finished. And we celebrate today. This is the most glorious of times for us because this is the day he finished it. And because of that, because of the great love he gave to us, we are now free from the chains and the bonds of our own sin. We can walk in his righteousness and when he comes we will bear the mark of God not the mark of Satan we will bear the mark of God because we are marked in the blood all who believe and put their trust their faith in him and his accomplishments will be saved so rejoice today 
Whatever you're doing in your day, rejoice. Sing to him. Praise him. Tell others about him because this is the day he finished it. It is done. And he is a great and merciful God. All praise to our Lord God and to the Son that came to save us, who is the Word of God, who is God. Never forget that in the Old Testament, God said, you must call him Mighty God. When he sends his Son, he will be called by you. You're going to call him Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, you must call him what the Father called him. He is God. Isn't that wonderful? There's no confusion of who he is. From the beginning to the end, we have been told who he is. Those with eyes to see will see. Those with ears to hear will hear. Pray for those whose eyes are closed to open. Pray for those whose ears are blocked to be freed. Because once you hear the truth, the truth will set you free. Praise the Lord. Be joyful and sing a merry song today. Throw away all of your sadness. Throw away all of your woes. Because on him we stand. On the rock. He is the rock. And we stand upon the rock of his righteousness. And we go together, one another, and we will be gathered by the shepherd. The good shepherd will gather us. Very soon, my loves, I pray you're not going through terrible times at the moment. Some are. I know it, my heart. My heart is with you. My prayers are with you. But look up. Your redemption is near, at the door, and the door is opening. He is coming. He is coming soon. It could be today because when he rose, remember in the Bible it said, when he died, the earth shook and the graves opened. And when he resurrected, they came out of their graves. It's possible. It's possible that's a sign. Not saying it is, but it's possible. So look forward in hope. The blessed hope is coming. Don't be pulled back by the world telling you it's, it's a fairy story. It's not. It's all true. Everything is true. Keep your heart strong. Don't let anyone try and belittle you. If you believe in the Father, believe in him also, for he is of the Father. He and the Father are one. They are a card. Same as husband and wife come together. The oneness is called a card. It's not the oneness of a, of a highlighter. That's one highlighter. No, it is the oneness of... Oh, can I pop them in there? It is the oneness of the highlighters. God is able, more than able, to take his own voice. I am the word of God. He takes the word and he puts flesh on the word. There is nothing God cannot do. He is almighty. Don't diminish him and let people say, how is that possible? Because he is the one that created the possibility of possible. There is nothing impossible to the one who created possible. So I just wanted to, to say, have a wonderful resurrection day. Keep your eyes on Christ. He's coming. I don't know when, but he's coming soon. He said, time for rapture, prepare the bride. Get ready. If there's anything left, 
look around, time is getting closer and closer. If it happened in the, well, as far as we're concerned, Israel is seven, seven hours behind us. So in a couple of hours, it will be sunset in Israel, uh, sunrise in Israel when they're about to discover the tomb is empty. Australia is just that bit ahead. So we're celebrating a little bit prematurely as far as historical time, but our calendar time is right. So God sees your heart. He's not looking at the calendar of where you are. He's seeing your heart. Are you, are you ready? Please be ready. If it's not today, if it's not tomorrow, don't lose your hope. Don't be one of those that, well, if he's not on time, I'm giving up on him. That's what the foolish brides did. And when he came, they weren't ready. Be the wise brides. They kept ready, even though he was running what they thought was late. And people said to them, look, he's not coming tonight. He'll come some other day. You've got time. Don't listen to them. There's always going to be those that are trying to away your hope just remember if God said it it is true just remember he said it's before the tribulation because it's as in the days of Lot they were eating drinking giving in marriage having a great old time until the day Noah went into the ark and left, got saved. Then sudden destruction. Lot, they were eating, drinking, doing their farming and all of that sort of thing and having a great old time until Lot was taken out, saved. Lot didn't go through the hail and brimstone. Noah and his family did not go through the flood. They were above. So... Remember, God said it will be as in those days. The days of tribulation are nothing like they will be eating, drinking and giving in marriage. There are going to be Satan walking, demons walking. There is going to be giant locusts coming out and stinging as if they were scorpions. There is going to be hail of fire from heaven. There is going to be a drought there is going to be floods. There is going to be starvation, famine. That's not eating and drinking and giving in marriage. Nope. Jesus said, as in the days of Noah, that's when this happens. So don't let anyone twist you into believing otherwise. He was very explicit. This is the sign of, they asked him what will be the end of days and what will be the sign of it coming. We are the sign of it coming. This part he said was the sign. What happens in the end of days, he told you it's horrible. But he said, but the sign of it is this. This will happen, Shush, as in the days of Noah. That's Anyone who believes with all their heart, all their mind, all their strength and all their soul. So don't let anyone steal it from you. And if it's not tomorrow, don't worry. If it's not the next way, don't worry. God is truth. It will happen. So let nobody deceive you. God bless you. God be praised. It is finished and he has risen. Celebrate today as you've never celebrated before. Amen. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. May he make his face to shine upon you and give you such peace in this day, but a joyful peace. Amen. Bye-bye, my darlings.